Hello friends, welcome again. Today we will look into how we can automatically place a bid on OpenSeas for NFTs. So as NFTs has been in so much demand nowadays, so uh, placing a bid for every NFT going in, placing bid, it is very difficult. So today I will show you how you can automatically place the bid on OpenSea site. And yes, this software is work with different sites also, but for testing today we will use on OpenSea. So you can go to or get autoclicker.com and you can go to download and you can download the stable version from here. I have already done that and you can see this is the configuration page of that uh, uh, extension. So before to do start doing that, you need to first do is you have to copy the URL. So if you see this one is for this azuki uh, collection so for all the azuki collection this will be the same so i am trying to configure in such a way that for all the azuki open c collection it automatically plays a bid okay so i will give a name open c dot io this is for uh, you know good reference so that you know in uh, you don't miss out if you have more than one configuration okay done so as soon as you type and you leave it will uh, save it next you have to click on place a bid uh, button so the best option is just right click this inspect this and you see it is a button okay and it has the text place bid so best option would be like you just have to hit ctrl f here just to test like if it is pointing to the correct button contains text place bit and be small yeah so as you see if our x path is correct it automatically highlights that button so which is correct so i what i will do is i will add it here so our first action is done so like as soon as we refresh this page it will automatically click on the place the bit button uh, it is loading the page is loading once the page is loaded okay we need to add some initial wait for wait time like wait for one second once the page is loaded after that click on the place bit yep so that is done now uh, you need to fill this value so just have to inspect this you can see we can get this uh, directly and we have to find something unique here so you can see the placeholder amount is unique for this input field so again we will create an xpath for this input at placeholder equal to amount yeah it is highlighting that's it simply you have to add new action paste here and add whatever value you want for example 2 ethereum so it will fill 2 here then you need to click on this checkbox so this checkbox is having the id that is unique tos so that is again one of the best thing i can find here like you can simply write like hash tos okay and it will enable this now place bid a place bid button so again this button with the ha having the value place bid okay i need to check if now there will be two buttons with this okay so here the bid b is big you you find yeah okay now it is correct so you can see only one of one button okay the previous one which was small b now it's capital b that's it okay so you just done all the configurations and you just have to refresh the page and see like how the bidding happens automatically whenever you come to this page two uh, as i don't have enough bit place to place bit it is showing this error or else it would have clicked on the place bit so now you can see like uh, if we go to the azuki collection and if we go to any other azuki also nft oh, for example let me choose some stylish one uh, okay this one i find good okay so it will start working on this also as soon as the page loads 
you have to refresh the page see it automatically started to place the bit this way so now you can also test it like it don't work on any other uh, uh, nft because the url will be changing for other nft for example this particular part this part is not the same for this one so if you refresh here you see it will not work here the extension will not work because it is bounded with the url and our url it ends in 544 and this url ends at 785 so as the urls are different this will not uh, you know place bit on it so in case if you want to place bit on this one also you just have to copy this url and update it here yeah, that's it on this uh, OpenSeas. I will uh, expo. I have exported this configuration and saved it on my configurations page. I will have the link in the description. You can directly download that text, uh, configuration and import in your uh, configuration section. And you can just make change the values as you required and make use of reuse of it. Thank you guys.